Hello, everyone, this is the new customer course for DTF. First of all, after you remove the outer packaging, check whether the appearance of the machine is damaged or bruised. If there is no anomaly, now to power on to test machine performance. Alright, now to install the waste ink bottle. The first step is to cut off the white tie of the waste ink tube. To open the right ink bottle position to remove the waste ink bottle inside. Put the waste ink tube in. You can see there are two screws here. We need to take it out with a screwdriver. The two holes are aligned. Alright, now the waste ink bottle has been installed. Now let's turn on the power. We need to check whether the voltage label on the machine matches the voltage you actually use before powering on the machine. Take out the power cord. Then turn the main switch on. When it is turned on, you can see that the main switch power supply is in the light state. Good. Now start the printer switch. In the boot process can see our ink car is a state of motion. It's doing a power on pass check. Waiting for the indicator light to be steady on indicates that the machine passes the self-test. Alright, now the green light is steady on, which means the machine performance is fine. Boot performance is good. Now place the black auxiliary plate in front of the printer. Okay. The inspection performance of the previous machine has passed. Now to add the ink. You can see that there will be color marks on it. We must add ink in strict accordance with the color code. Disallow add error. If the error is added, contact technical personnel to rectify it. This is the sign for cutting the ties of the waste ink tube. We can tear it off. Okay, you can see there's going to be a protective membrane here, and we're going to have to tear it. Screw the lid on again. You can see that the ink bottle with the motor is white, please do not add mistakes. Now to extract the ink from the ink sac. Strictly extract 5 ml of ink from each of the 6 ink sacs. Hold the ink sac by the sides, not in the middle. The middle squeezes the ink out of the ink sac. Punch the extracted ink onto a disposable cup. Insert the ink sac into its original position. Take out a paper towel, or clean cloth and wipe the needle. Alright, now we finished extracting the ink sac. Now go to the back of the machine to extract the waste ink tube. Remove 5 milliliters of waste ink from the waste ink tube. This step is done to allow the ink sac to enter the print head channel smoothly.
Insert the waste ink tube back into its original position. Alright, now the ink extraction operation is complete. The next step is to install RIP software and printer driver. That's the end of this lecture. Bye.